Hi, how are you? I'm very fine, and you? I'm very well. Thank you very much. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, it's really nice to meet you. And can you tell me Indrajit? Yes, perfect, perfect. Yes, okay, good, good. It's very nice to meet you in Indrajit. My name is Jasmine. Jasmine, and I am from Canada. Where are you? Very nice. And I'm from India. And my currently, I live in West Bengal. It is eastern part of the India. Eastern part, eastern part of India. Yeah. Amazing. You know, actually, I understand that in India, there are like thousands of different languages spoken. Yeah. So what what is your, like, your mother language? What is it? My mother language is Bengali. I speak mm -hmm. Bengali. And I love learning English since my mm. childhood. So that's why yeah. I switched to Kamil. Yeah, of course. I understand also that, yeah, in India, you guys start learning English at a really young age. You're of school, I think, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. And so um, you each have a different, every area has their own, you know, language, but um, is, I think, the official language, it's Hindi, it's correct? Yes, yes. It is, it is the official language, Hindi, mm -hmm. and, but mostly, most of mostly, mostly people speak Hindi. And as I am a student, and I want to learn English, and English is international language, so that's why I have more interest in learning this language. Cool. You learn. Do you grow up knowing like four languages, you know, pretty much from the time you guys are little kids? Yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. It's impressive. It's impressive, though. I mean, I only know two languages, and I, I should know three, but I, I didn't focus on my French enough when I was growing up. You know, I should have focused more. <laughs> and who do you live with? Pardon? Sorry? Who do you live with? Ah, so I live, actually, this is interesting. I am Canadian, but I don't live in Canada. I actually live in Italy, and... Okay. Yeah, and my husband, I actually was here for work. I was working in Italy, and I met my husband. So my now he's my husband. So I live in Italy with my husband, yes. <laughs> so nice, so nice. Yeah. I live with my uncle and aunt as well as elder uncle and elder aunt and also my grandmother. Yeah, yeah, so it's a big, you have a big family. Yeah. Big family. Yeah. <laughs> I think, though, I think it's nice when, you know, especially in this last year, with the lockdown and you must stay at home, you know, it's nice to have people to to visit with, to talk to, you know, to hang out with, to keep you company. Yeah. Yeah, we spend hours with chatting with my family members and also sometimes neighbors. Yeah, definitely. It helps because, you know, I have some friends who were living in an apartment in a big city and they could not leave the house they could not talk to anyone and it was very difficult for them so i think it's really nice that you have a big family with you you guys can uh, spend time together and it's enjoyable right yes it is really enjoyable and yeah. so, so what else you do besides teaching on family yeah so i actually before the pandemic i was a dj so my job was to play music <laughs> in, you know, dance clubs nice. and things. Yes, but it's been just since last summer. Yes. And I'm still waiting to see if it will open, um, you know, this year. But uh, before, you know, before I was a DJ, I actually was um, teaching in an English school in Milan. So I had experience teaching English. Um, and when closed down I thought you know what am I going to do for work um, and I came across a, a couple of different websites like Cambly and I thought you know actually it's perfect because yeah, sure, you know sure. it's perfect like a lot of people are looking for teachers and they can't leave their homes you know because of the lockdown because of COVID mm -hmm. and I had experience teaching and actually you know I had forgot 
how much I love teaching and helping people. You know, it's um, I'm, I'm also a very uh, social person. So I like talking to people. I like meeting new people. I like learning about new cultures. But Kabbalah is a really wonderful platform, I would say. And for tutoring, for learning, and for spending hours, and also for practicing your spoken English skill, it is really great. Yeah, definitely. I agree. I think. Do you have any YouTube channel? Do I have any? Uh, interest in gaming. In gaming, ah, no, it's not mine. It's actually my stepson's gaming oh. <laughs> headphones. Yes, actually, this is his bedroom because I I have just uh, moved houses. We bought a new house, and my my office my office has many boxes still. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I am using his room for now. <laughs> okay, great, great. So you are living in Italy, right? And may I know that uh, what is the currency going on there? Yeah, in Italy we have euro. Euro. Oh, euro. Okay, okay. So how yeah, they. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They used to have lira. I think it was called lira. 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 Yeah. Switched to euro, so um, like the the worth of euro, for example, it's more than the Canadian or American dollar. Yeah. And how many uh, money you have to spend to buy a new house? Just simple house. Or yeah. Yeah. So this. The, mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends on the area, okay? It depends on the location. So it can change, like, very much from one location to the other. But the house that we bought, the apartment, is an apartment. We spent, like, a very few, very, very small amount of money. It was 115,000 euros. Uh, so 115, let's see, thousand euros. Uh, Hundred so like this, so not so much. Mm -hmm. not, uh, so. not not so much. Uh, if you want a house, a big villa in Italy, it's like two, three hundred thousand euro, something like this. So it's quite expensive. Um, but where in this area, in this uh, neighborhood, it's cheaper because it's a little bit outside of the big city, right? Yeah, like. 10 minutes from the city. I have to drive 10 minutes to the city. And I think, it, I think. 10 minutes is a small time, right? We can drive. Part, we can drive. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. But uh, for the first two years, I was able to drive with my Canadian driver's license. It was fine. Okay. But after two years, they said that I must take the Italian driver's license. And so I had to take um, an exam, like all, all again, everything. I had to driver's exam, writing exam, and everything was in Italian. So it was like really difficult. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see. It is really time-taking task, I think. Yeah, absolutely, yes. And it, was, it wasn't easy because when I was 16 in Canada so I was 16 years old and now I'm almost 30 years old so like 15 years ago you know I didn't expect to like 13 years ago 14 years ago I didn't expect to have to take again you know again. Um, <laughs> yeah it was traumatic it was a traumatic <laughs> Yes, but uh, yes. And so, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? No, no. Yeah, it's totally fine with me. I'm 23 right now. 26. Ah, okay. No, no, 23. 23. Still, no, 36. 30, wait, hold on, hold on. 33? Mm, I'm, 36. No, no, I'm, I'm 23. 23. 23. 23. Yes, okay. I was going to say, I. I I, I heard uh, 26, and then I thought you said 36, and I said, it's not possible you're 36, it's impossible. 
Yeah, yes, tw 23. Okay, yes, this seems, uh, it makes sense. Yes, I can see, I can see you are 23. But um, yes, you are so young. You have your whole life in, ahead of you to learn languages and travel, and many fun yeah. things. And also, I have a YouTube channel. So whatever I just learned, I just share. And yeah, it is quite fine. And I, I am busy right now in making YouTube videos. But I love making videos nowadays. Yeah, so you're making like internet, like YouTube videos. Yes, yes. And also, yes. I will, and may I upload it on YouTube, this conversation? Because there are a lot Yeah, of, of course, it's no problem. Of course, no problem. Very much. I don't mind. Yeah. And I will say that uh, you you will be called DJ Camly Tutor. <laughs> yes, yes, no problem. DJ Camly Tutor. <laughs> so nice, so nice. You're, I, I love. Yes. Pardon? Say that last one again. Yeah, I love your talking because you are so friendly in nature. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. That's so sweet of you to say. Yes. I know today we're having a little bit of technical difficulties, I think, yeah, with no the problem. audio. I but on another day, it will be fine. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes we have this. Yeah. It usually it's, it's really a great. Yeah, usually a really great. Uh, thank you so much for, for saying that. I'm sorry. We're having some technical difficulties, oh, but I enjoy I enjoy talking to new people and you know yeah learning about them. Yeah, and also I enjoy talking with you, and it is really lovely to meet you. Hope to see you soon again. And yes, have a great day. Thank you. You have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend, and I hope to see you again in another lesson. Okay. Sure, sure. Okay, stay safe. Stay happy. <laughs> Bye-bye.